is just, you know, trying to keep her babies alive. So, you know, total 180 again. But um, anyway, I wrote this next song. We're really turning the beat around. I wrote this next song on Mother's Day in 2020, and I was feeling extremely just existential and blue, and things were, you know, not so great then. Um, but I was cat sitting for my mom, and because I'm away so often, my mom actually kind of just cat sits for me all the time. So I was technically just looking after my own cat, but, <laughs> but at my mom's house, so I was like cat sitting, it felt kind of fun. And she was um, stuck in Australia because there were some border issues going on, and I was like, yeah, I can. I can cat sit for you, my own cat. <laughs> and it was like Mother's Day. And the, that was kind of almost like a nice little like beacon of hope. I was like, oh, moms. That's really nice to think about. Do my mom a favor, she's away. My cat, I miss her. So it was all around good vibes, um, except for everything else that was going on in the world. <laughs> it was okay. I was like trying to look at the, you know, the brightness. But um, anyway, we were just having a coffee in bed one morning, just kind of hanging out, me and Billy. And um, I looked out the window and I noticed this robin. And she was very diligently gathering sticks and twigs and doing some nest maintenance, which I thought was really sweet. And again, it was Mother's Day. So I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> wow, look at this. And um, yeah, just was very touching in the moment, probably cried about it. <laughs> since that's a theme. Um, but yeah, I was just really enjoying the moment of watching her. And then I noticed that Billy, my cat, had also noticed the bird. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, this is, bird has become my responsibility. Now I'm like, not only cat sitting my cat, but also this bird and all of her future babies. So I was feeling truly the weight of the world on my shoulders, <laughs> very stressed out. Um, and then I, I decided I would write a song about it. Um, so this song is called Rhododendron of all things, and I feel like it. Yes, 
Sure. 